my women's lib is missing. Oh, well, you're looking in the wrong place. I'm looking in the magazine. Well, you won't find it in there. I know I won't find it in... It's in my sandwich. <laughs> you put the article in my sandwich. Well, it's just my little way of saying I'd like you to eat your words. <laughs> Although I will grant you they are a bit hard to swallow. This article really bothered you? Mm hmm Honey, I told you I wrote this article about a fictional girl. Oh, Donald, really? Just because you called her Arlene Morgan doesn't fool me a bit. You didn't even bother to change the initials. I'm, I'm telling you, it's just a coincidence. I wrote this article about a girl who believed in women's liberation and freedom for women and independence. Now, you're certainly not that girl. Are you that girl? <laughs> when you're mad. That's what appeals to you, what I look like? Not my intelligence, not my mind? Honey, what are you doing? These are conversations girls have with people they don't like. I'm leaving in an hour. Now, let's talk and play nicely. You're not leaving. We're leaving. And I told you, you will not enjoy the hockey game. We are not leaving to go to the hockey game, number one. And number two, I just want to know why men won't play poker with women. Why they won't watch a football game with us. Why they won't take us to a hockey game. Number three must be a beauty. The reason you won't play poker with us is because you're afraid we might be better than you. And if you lost to us, you'd lose your masculinity. Me? Yes, you. Honey, I have no insecurity about my masculinity. Donald, do you remember the time I got mugged in Central Park? <laughs> Oh, I suppose you were mugged by an anti-women's liberation mugger. <laughs> That was just another case of the male asserting his strength over the female. What's all that got to do with my masculinity? Oh, that's another little ploy you men always use. We, oui, huh? Forgetting all the salient points. You don't remember how you joined that special park detail to help catch the mugger, and then you came over here to show me your police outfit? Oh, Daddy, would you get that? I'm not sure. <laughs> well, uh, it, it's it's me, Mr. Marie. Uh, Don Hollinger. <laughs> yes, of course. How silly of me. Who is it, the... Donald? Hi, honey. I, uh, I, I wanted to surprise you. Oh, you did? You did. <laughs> Why do we have to have this discussion? Why today, when the Rangers are playing Boston? Because tonight I'm taking you to my women's liberation meeting. Impossible. I am going to the hockey game. You can still make it to the hockey game. Our meeting is from 6.30 till 7.30, and you can be to your game, which starts at 8. And? Oh, Donald. All the girls are bringing their husbands or boyfriends, and we want the men to hear firsthand what the movement is really all about. Oh, please, Donald, it's very important to me. Please, Donald. Really, I... It would really mean so much to me. Please say you will. Please just do this... This one favor. 
Well, all right, if it's so important to you. Well, don't do me any favors. <laughs> each other for five years and we've gone out about a thousand times but the one time i ask you to go someplace i want uh hold it. this is the one time you've asked me to go someplace you wanted that's right you always say where we're going i never do that's one of the things we discussed at one of our meetings the man always makes all the arrangements for the dates the time where you're going everything uh-huh well can i mention perhaps one or two little times that you decided what are you dressed like that for Oh, well, my blue suit's in the cleaners. <laughs> picnics are usually informal. Yeah, but meeting your folks is no picnic. Will you not think of it as meeting my folks? We are just driving up there to pick up my hi-fi set. And on the way, we're going to have a really lovely picnic. Yeah, but at the end of that really lovely picnic, I'm going to meet your folks. And that's what I'm dressed for. There is nothing to be nervous about. You're a reporter. You should be used to meeting people. People is not your father. You can be somebody else, like the president. <laughs> It's like I figured we're stuck in the mud. You think we'll be able to get out? I don't know. We can try. But look, you'll have to drive. Oh, Donald. One of us has to drive and one of us has to push. If it's multiple choice, I'll drive. <laughs> now, now look. What we have to do is take it slow and easy, and there's a good chance we can get out. Now, what you have to do is ease out the clutch very slowly. Very slow. Right. Now, okay, okay sh start the car. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, now. Okay, now, as you ease out the clutch, please just give it a little gas. Just a little gas, okay? Okay, a little gas. Okay, okay, now. All right, wait a minute. All right, any time. Well, Donald, after all, one out of a thousand isn't that much. Honey, it's not one out of a thousand. That's just one place we went to that you initiated. What about all the places we went to that you and your own sweet, charming, cute little way coerced me into selecting? Coerced you? Yes, coerced. Wheedled. Wheedling and coercion, the top two female weapons. I never wheedled you. Huh, never wheedled? What about the time you asked me to write an act for you? The only love I've ever known. Oh, why, oh, why did she stand in front of the guns of Navarone? <laughs> Just a boy. No, no, no more. I'd rather remember it kindly. You know, Donald, I'll bet if you'd stuck with it, you could have had a great career in show business. As what? As a writer. No, you're very good, and you were very good in college. And you know that speech you did last year for the press dinner? That was very funny. It was supposed to be serious. See, you're a natural. <laughs> Donald, do you know what I'm thinking? Yeah, do you know what I'm thinking? That I should stop thinking what I'm thinking. Right. <laughs> I am neither ready, willing, nor able to write for you. But, Donald, why? Well, the able part is obvious. I am not a comedy writer. But your songs are adorable. They're very funny, and they're very imaginative. Besides, I've always said it's dangerous to write for the girl you love. You never said that. Well, I'm saying it now. <laughs> oh, Donald. Think of how much fun it would be. I mean, who knows my character as intimately as you do? <laughs> I wish you wouldn't put it that way. Donald. Won't you do it for me? As a favor? I knew you'd put it that way. Will you do it? Well, look, honey, you can't expect too much. 
You see, sweetheart, the trouble with all you women for liberation is you don't realize you have it the best possible way. It's handed to you rather than held back from you. Oh, Donald, that is terrible. That is really terrible. Floors, please. Nine. Four. Ten. Second floor. Oh, pardon me. Oh, not yet. Are you mad at me, honey? No, I'm not mad at you. I, ju I just never realized how bad you were. <laughs> You're just like all men. Is there something wrong with that? Fourth floor. <laughs> uh, we're next. <laughs> you just came so you could leave, didn't you? Being with you anywhere until 7.30 is better than being alone. Ninth floor next. That's us. Oh, what, what is it? What happened? Trouble, Frankie? Not unless anybody's in a hurry to go any place. What? What happened? We lost our power. Oh, oh, lost our... No! Uh, you mean we're stuck? All mm. night. <laughs> right, okay. Anybody expecting a baby or anything like that? <laughs> We have no emergencies, Maxie. Take your time. Take your time? What does take your time mean? Well, what's your emergency? I will be dead. Killed by ten guys who will miss tonight's hockey game because I went to a women's liberation meeting. <laughs> You've got all the tickets? Yes. You mean if you don't show up with them, they can't buy any others? Honey, the game's been a sellout for months. Well, Donald, if you'd invited me, I wouldn't have come here tonight and you wouldn't have had any problem. Co-educational sports do not work for us. Football you don't understand, baseball you talk through. I like bowling. Bowling. Bowling is a perfect example of the evil of co-educational sports. Frank Sladak bowls in competition with his toe, averaging 118 a game. It's right here in this magazine. Can you believe that? I couldn't even get 118 with my arm. That's impossible. Nobody can bowl 118 with their toe. Mm, Van Gogh painted it with one ear. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, I do, and it kind of scares me. Now, let me finish the speech. Why not? I mean, a person could do anything if they really try hard enough. What's so tough about toe bowling? Oh, yeah? What's that? Letting go of the ball. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I, uh... It won't come off. It won't come off? Well, no. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. That's half the problem with the entire women's liberation movement. What's half the problem? Amnesia. Oh, Donald. All the things you ladies are asking for, you have and have had. The problem is you don't remember having it. Well, that's just ridiculous. It is not ridiculous. You say you don't have independence. You do have it. You just keep forgetting that as a woman, you can't do everything. There are very few things we can't do as well as any man. Uh-huh. Like all the jobs you've had? Like what? Like when you sold shoes door to door. Yeah? Good day, sir. I represent the smart and stunning shoe service. If I buy something of yours, will you buy something of mine? What? 
I'm a door-to-door -door salesman, too. I handle a little Jiffy Housewife Helper. It peels, pears, slices, juices. And it's lightweight and it's compact. You can also use it as a flashlight. Now, this little item sells in all the stores for $2.25. But since you're in the business, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you have this little item for $1.85, and I want you to know I'm losing money. What do you say? Boy, I wish I had your technique. <laughs> Or when you worked in a department store? You say that this perfume is for a girl? Yes, uh, yes. Most of the boys I know have switched to shaving lotion. Uh, well, uh, no, what I meant was, uh, is it for a young girl or for an older woman? Uh, well, it's, it's for a younger woman or an older girl. I'll take either. <laughs> Here's something just marvelous. It's called Springtime, uh -huh. and it has a... Oh, oh, sir, I'm so sorry. I thought it was the shaking out. I'm so oh, sorry. I see. You were having a little trouble selecting a perfume. Uh, are you the stupid girl who waited on me the other day? Well, I don't believe I waited on you before, but I'd be glad to help you now. Well, I bought a box of bubble bath, and a stupid sales girl gave me the wrong box. <laughs> oh, oh, that must have been me. I'm the stupid sales girl. Let me see. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, Miss Daly, I'm sorry. I'll pick them right Leave up. Leave them alone, Miss Marie. Someone will pick them up. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind. After all, it was... Leave them alone. <laughs> I suppose this spoils my chance of being kept on after the sale is over. This spoils your chances of being kept on until the sale is over. <laughs> you mean I'm fired? As of this very moment. Yes, Miss Daly. Well, Donald, I am not a shoe salesman or a perfume person. I'm an actress. And believe me, nobody can get to a producer like an imaginative actress. May I help you? You can't go in there. That's, uh, Miss Anne Marie. You are kidding. Listen, now, how long do you think we're gonna have to wait for, huh? I, I'd say about 10 second tops. Three, two, one. Carol, show this person out. What was that? Just releasing one of the relays. Nothing to worry about. Don't move, sweetheart. I like it just that way. Worried? No. Realizing that women turn to men for protection. I, I didn't tell you to hold on to me. Well, honey, honey, now come on. Admit, if there were no men here, you'd be a lot more worried than you are. Donald, I'm relying on you because I'm used to relying on you. But if I were here by myself and you weren't here, I could easily cope with the situation. Mm -hmm. I see. Like the time we had a visit from a federal agent who you thought was a paid killer. Who's that? I don't know. Donald. Hide the ball. Okay, okay. It's me, Miss Marie. Can oh. I come in? Oh, uh, really, uh, Mr. Please, please, I'm. Uh, I want to talk to you. Oh, hi there. Hello. Uh, hello. Well, we were just leaving. When we just leaving, Donald? Please, just a minute of your time. I'm. Well, I'm almost desperate. Oh, desperate? Well, sure. I mean, in that case, come right in. <laughs> <laughs> messy. <laughs> Real messy. <laughs> I suppose the best thing is to begin with the truth. Uh, yeah, yes, uh, uh, by all means. Uh, excuse me, uh, before you start, do you mind if I talk to Anne for a second? Not at all, but I don't have much time. We don't either. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know. He's probably here to get the stuff and leave town. Now, shh, please, Anne, be quiet. Let me think. The back door. We'll go out the back door. Oh, no, they don't have a back door. <laughs> what are we going to do? I know one thing, young lady. You're going in the bedroom and lock the door. No good. Now, don't argue with me. But Donald, I've got to go to the living room to get to the bedroom. And he's in the living room. Yes. Yeah, that's a good argument. <laughs> oh, all right, now. Here, bop him with that. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Here, here, honey, use that. A potato peeler? He'll be shooting, I'll be peeling. Miss Marie, I have to hurry. 
Just a minute! Don, Don, let's give him what he wants. It's our only chance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, all right. He probably won't get very far anyway. Yeah, at least we can live to read about it, huh? Yeah. Coming! Yeah, okay, now please, don't be scared. I'll take care of it. I'll just talk to him. That's all. Come on. All right. Okay, great. Now then, Mr. Uh, 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 Johnson? Yeah, yeah, Johnson. Johnson. Uh, as you were saying. First, I think you should know my name is not Johnson. We know all about it. We saw the picture. What picture? Uh, right here. Right. Right here. That picture. There. Oh, well, that's just part of the job. I can imagine. And here, you can have your old baseball, too. But don't worry, you won't get far, Mr. Rex. Mr. No wonder you're acting strange. I better. No! Well, I'm just getting out my wallet. <laughs> FBI. Yep. Good, Maxie. What did good Maxie say? They found the trouble. They got someone on it. And we'll be all set to go in a few minutes. All right. All right. You'll make it to your hockey game, you mean. Right. And you won't come to my women's liberation meeting. Honey, I can do both. I'll meet a little, listen to a couple of speeches, and still get to the garden on time. That sounds fair. Now, stop thinking you're being picked on. Believe me, you ladies generally get along pretty well. Well, I, I just have to think about it. Think? Well, what, what is there to think about? Is it the money? Yes, yes, that's it. That, that's it, the money. I, I just couldn't afford it. At uh, the price I can get you, you couldn't afford not to have one. Listen, why don't we just go over to your desk there? I mean, your pen is there and your pad is there, and you probably want to be real close to it so that we can yes. make out this transaction. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's you. Uh, this is Mr. Rudolph. Oh, he was just straightening everything out about the desk with me. Good for you. Uh, yes, he's just taking care of everything. Yes, so I can see. Well, have fun. Hey, wait a minute. Who is he? He's the fellow I wanted to get the desk. I don't think he understood. Well, uh, let's not worry about him. He's already got a desk. Let's see if we can uh, find something for you. Well, actually, as a matter of fact, this is just the desk I want. I love this desk. I really want this desk. <laughs> when smart girls play their cards right, they get exactly what they want. That's a built-in thing women have, Donald, being able to protect ourselves. But if men respected us more, we wouldn't have to do so much protecting. Oh, that's it. We're on our way. Oh, oh, oh terrific. Nice, Flo. <laughs> Tenth floor next. Ten. This must be Don Hollinger. Yes. Oh, yes. What happened to the meeting? No men showed up. None? None. He would have been the only one there. Not one showed? Not one. Between bowling and poker and the New York Rangers, it would have taken Raquel Welsh to make him show up. Is she a member? <laughs> Young man, we are going to try again next week. I have to go to the movies. <laughs> we'll be here. Uh, yeah, all right, but I may not be able to contribute much. Well, why not? Well, you see, I know I'm going to be in this terrible state of exhaustion from climbing ten flights of stairs, because I'm not going to press my luck with this elevator again. Oh, Donald, don't you worry. I'll look after you. <laughs> A two-all tie, we took out the goalie. Oh, that's nice. Where'd you go? When? After the game, when you took out the goalie. Hey, we took out the goalie while the game was still on. But if you took out... Oh, hold it, Gracie. When I said we took out the goalie... I know, I know. You take out the goalie and put on an extra man in the forward position to tie up the score. You know all that? Mm-hmm. Hockey, the world's fastest sport. Did you know there's a woman hockey player? You're kidding. No, she plays goalie somewhere in Michigan. 
You know, Donald, I find that very encouraging. Women in hockey, women jockeys. You know, I don't mind women doing any of those things. There's just one place they should keep girls out of. Where? Women's liberation meetings. <laughs> <laughs>